Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to give a further update about the new BMW Motorrad connected cradle. And stick around to the end, gonna give one away. Dang, this looks like a cliff. I mean this looks like a this is a cliff. Alright, I can do it. I can do it. Hang on, let me figure out which way we go. I think we stay sh I don't know. Yeah, no big deal. So I've had this a couple weeks now. Uh, I, I haven't used it as much as I like, but I've used it enough to, to give my at least my first opinion. Um, number one, it's it's pretty simple and it's pretty basic. It it snaps in just like normal. I left it in the cradle. And, and didn't take it out the whole time that I used it, uh, the last couple weeks. Just really no reason to take it out. Once you adjust it, my phone pretty easily went in there. I felt it was fairly secure, uh, although I did have a couple people on my last video ask what case I was using because their case didn't fit as well. So I can tell you that I was using a, an OtterBox case on my phone and it did fit but it's it's the smaller streamlined otter box i know if you have one of the old bulky otter boxes uh, you're probably not going to fit and if you have one with a <clears throat> built-in battery pack it's probably not going to fit but let's go on to the functionality of it so it's like a charging pad that you lay your phone on like i've got one of those circular charging pads i just lay the phone on it I kind of move it around until I hear a ding and then I know it's charging. This is the same way. Uh, I took off last week on a little ride and the, the cradle wasn't connected, wasn't working. And I had to stop twice and I figured out that somehow I had something a little cockeyed or something. I don't know. But it made the chime, I saw the little light and then it worked fine. Uh, I played with the settings, I got it to lay out to be what I wanted, and I ran several tests. Uh, just like when I test the BMW Connected app versus Nav6, it's fast. So with the phone in the cradle, um, going through the system, I was able to type in five or six different addresses. They're, they're quick, the phone's quick, and off I went. Um, <clears throat> I did try once with no success at using the phone, punching in the address, and then putting it inside. Maybe I did something wrong, but it didn't work. So, uh, for me right now, I'm going to say I think you have to have the phone in the cradle, in that mode, before you can enter an address. So, if you're using your phone to communicate like I do a lot, you can't enter that address and then put it in. So that didn't work. Maybe I did something wrong and, and, and maybe someone will correct me, but I didn't have much success with that. So I, I challenged a couple times the route it took me, but I will say, I, I think it was probably right. It was set up for the fastest. And even though it took me away, I didn't want to go and normally wouldn't go. It was probably fastest. So, <clears throat> Does it work? Is it worth $300, $284.90? I think the easy answer is yes, depending on what you expect. If you're a, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to disrespect any rider, but if, if you're a guy that likes to go out on Saturdays and Sundays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays, whatever the case may be, and, and just ride around and, and get, go to a different place to eat lunch and maybe it's 100 miles away or 300 miles away or whatever the case may be uh, if that's what you want to do I think this thing will work just fine my trip that I just took to California and back you know I, I went to my my father's house first pretty simple I don't, I don't need a GPS to get me there after that I was going to five or six very specific locations and I was connecting them with some very specific roads I built that in, in Garmin Basecamp, 
and it was simple to send it to my my nav units and then I had a route and I didn't have to think about it. If I was using this system, I would have to stop each individual route and punch in those addresses. And then it may not take me on the very specific roads that I wanted. So I'm not that familiar with Google Maps and, and using that system on a phone. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But if you're looking to go to the bank or Starbucks or someone's house, um, I think this will work very well. I just don't have enough time yet on it to say I can create a 14 point waypoint ride and it's gonna work. I don't know. I also haven't had a chance to test it with River. Um, so there you go. But for the average guy, I think it works okay. Um, next, man, let's just get to it. I'm gonna give this one away. And, and I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible. I just need you to like this video, be a subscriber, and comment below. Um, that's all you gotta do, and I'm gonna enter it into my drawing. Uh, the last time I made a whole video of me doing the drawing, I don't know if I'll do that, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a way, and I'll ship it anywhere. I'll, I'll ship it anywhere, I don't care where it goes. So if you want one of these, um, this is still in the package, like, subscribe, comment below, and I'm going to give it away. Um, I do want to say I appreciate everyone that watches these videos. I don't make much money on this. <laughs> and when I say make money, that's being liberal. I, I don't make money. So every item I've displayed on this channel, I buy with my own money. Uh, and I do it because I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So... Um, there you are. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll enter into drawing. And today is, oh my gosh, what is today? The 22nd. So let's go May 15th. May 15th is a Sunday. And, and that's when I will, May 15th at noon. There we go. That's the cutoff. May 15th at noon. That's the cutoff. So, all right, there you have it. Uh, I will keep testing this and, and maybe maybe I'll do another test and I'll, I'll test it with Rever and some of those and that's what I'll do my video on May 15th. That's what I'll do. Um, it, it's rally season for me. I have a rally next weekend and, and this will not be in use. Uh, I think it's a great spare and I, I will carry it as a spare as opposed to buying a third NAV6, which I am considering. So if you got one for sale, hit me up. Um, all right. Again, uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day. Be safe.